In this video guys, let's look at how to find those potential short squeezes using Finviz. Stick around. Hey guys, warm welcome to you. All right, so <laughs> might be a good time to revisit this video, uh, or this topic, should I say. Talked about finding short squeezes before, but hey, you know, recent volatility. Gonna, uh, another video coming up soon uh, talking about some of this stuff. Uh, a lot of these shares are really exhibiting some significant moves. Uh, and really what we're trying to do is try to find ones that may well move uh, aggressively again uh, pretty soon. So Finviz is a great screening tool. And uh, what we're trying to look for really when, with the short squeezes, uh, we're trying to find things that obviously have a high short interest. So a lot of funds are short, meaning that if the market should push higher and higher and higher, then they're going to be forced to cover and that will cr create add fuel to the fire and create a cascade effect. More longs come on and it kind of is a self-perpetuating snowball that gets bigger and bigger. Now, um, they don't happen all the time, it's not a daily occurrence, but it's the kind of thing that you know can help add weight to your trade idea. If you've already got a trade idea long and you see a lot of people short or you, you want to form a trade idea around a lot of um, uh, high short interest stocks, then you know it's something to consider. So Finviz, um, I'm using the, um, the the kind of premium version here. I did a, a video actually a while ago talking about um, was it worth the money, and you know I've been happy with it so far. I think it's uh, it's one of those things that's you know I don't use Finviz every day, but it's quite handy now and then to to pull through the screener. So anyway, what you're trying to do first is we're trying to look for obviously. Uh, things that have a shot a high short flow i did a video on this uh on the whiteboard a while ago that'll be up if, if it's not yet already check that out this is kind of going into a bit more granular detail um if you're using finviz or any other screeners but this is a finviz specific video so float short i want high above 20 percent. so in other words 20 percent of the float is short so it's basically saying right there's a high number of people who are short this. They're going to be in pain if this thing rallies 100%, 200%, 300%, 400%. They're going to be in significant loss. Because don't forget, a short has unlimited loss. It can only go to zero. There's a capped profit, but has unlimited loss. And this is the kind of short squeeze uh, situation. It's a point where the fund doesn't have enough margin to cover the unrealized profit and the margin demands. And so they have forced to cover. And also, there's also the fact that um, people can recall their shorts back in. So... High, high short flow that's a good starting point and that's going to get you kind of some of the way there and you can kind of just search through and just look for stuff that's doing okay but what you really want is the additional thing is of performance now if you've got time to sit through I've got 169 results here and look through i'm always a big fan of eyeball and looking my own eyes and deciding whether i want to kind of take a deeper look at this or put it into a watch list but if you don't want to do that using the performance filter here and saying okay well for the month i want to have seen this thing uh up at least 50 percent on the month right and that's going to give you 35 which is a much more manageable amount and so what we're looking for here is a high short flow looking for the performance has been up more than 50 percent on the month and then we kind of want to look through and see, uh, you know, really significant change. Now, you can add another performance filter here and go, right, well, what about um, if I go year, I want to see it go up 500% in the year. Uh, and that's going to, you know, again, narrow it further down. But you might miss out on the start of short, of short uh, kind of short rippers, um, short squeezes, because you sometimes want to get them before they really start going, because the whole point is once they're going, at the end of the day, guys, short squeezes very rarely, apart from Tesla, actually, Tesla stayed at highs, very rarely will go rip exponentially and stay there. They'll often kind of come down again quickly. Then there might be another phase of the market where they rally up and it's a recovery of the company. Fine. But you've got to be aware of that. You've got to be aware and say, hey, you know what? Uh, if it's going to go, it's going to go. When it's already gone, I'm on borrowed time. Yes, it could keep going at 100%, 200% sure. But at some point, the higher it goes, the more risk of it coming back to its mean. And that could be, you know, 80% off the high, for example. So, um, you know, you could put the performance to in year 50, uh, plus 500%, but I prefer not to and just spend a little bit more time uh, kind of scanning for myself and seeing what's going on. So AMC, <laughs> big cinema one that's uh, popped up recently up 200%. Um, that feels like it's already gone. But you're kind of looking for a chart uh, you know, like this type of thing. And this is interesting because this was um, a stock that I've been trading very actively, actually. I told that this is a kind of thing that's, that's that's ripped up based on a company changing um, announcement. They kind of announced they've got no more debt, blah, 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 et cetera. But this is the type of thing you want. This 
squeeze that's just starting it's relentless it's hardly pulled back much and it's just starting to kind of now we've double treble quadrupled off that ten dollar low and even the very lows here so that's interesting but the thing is with stuff like this sometimes you go back and you go well, where was it before ah, okay we almost got to 100 bucks before but the short float is quite high short ratio 2.85 um not you know, a huge number of shares in issue uh, so the to the amount uh, that's available for people to cover isn't that much oh that's the kind of thing that you're looking for you know this uh uh, these, these aren't too bad I mean obviously GameStop is, is a whole new thing by itself it's a whole new um, video that I'm going to do on actually if you haven't checked it out check it out it's coming up soon if it's not already uploaded um, you know this this type of thing as well this is a little bit better this GSX which is grinding higher and higher and higher now you know in the end of the day guys with short squeezes it's purely technical you know the company apart from the DDD actually which was a little bit more of a fundamental shift which can prolong the short squeeze but when it's purely technical and there's no real change in fundamentals there's just a demand for stock on um, wherever that's come from and there's a lot of people who are stock short and have to cover it's a just a case of hey supply demand is coming in there's a lot of supply coming in uh, a, a lot of supply already in should i say demand coming in and then the supply's got no choice but to cover stuff like this again this is this, this thing catches my eye straight away um uh, i've not even seen this before actually it's kind of stock that you would like because of the shape of it the grind higher you know picking up steam picking up steam picking up steam um in reality you, the timing of this needs to be a bit earlier than this you know to me unless you're already in it when you're at this phase yes you do get ones that go on this could easily go on for wherever it is but i like to be a little bit earlier to kind of mitigate some of that risk and you know most of them are going to come back and stop you out but the ones that go are going to give you 10r 15r that kind of stuff and of course Bearing in mind, guys, you know, if you're taking this stuff, or trading this stuff, and I never recommend any specific trades, of course, but remember, if you're trading anything like this, it could easily just gap down on you overnight. Gap down overnight, and then it's game over. Like, remember from Tilray a while back, uh, the cannabis thing, when that was all the rage, if I can even type properly, uh, we had that. If you go back to the weekly chart, probably just about get it. You know, this type of thing here. You know, we're up here, um, and I wonder if I can give you the daily, and we can scan through. There we go. Right. So um, that's one of the beauties of premium, actually. Uh, Finviz, we had the gap up, but then the next day, you know, we closed here. Yes, we opened here, but then this, if you were taking this thing, it was going to go back up to 300. The thing gapped down um, and opened at 148. So there's significant danger of the, of, the, of the market gapping down on you. So you've got to watch out for that. Now, Sometimes with these scanners, it's not going to pick up everything. Uh, Tilray's been on my list as a, as a kind of short ripper, but it perhaps hasn't had the performance in the period um, that you want. So, you know, spend, it's worth spending some time just looking at the short float. Why has it not had that performance? And it's not come through the scanner we just did with the with the performance filter because it's obviously pulled back and spent some time consolidating. Although that is still in a potential. Um, short squeeze mode the rally up from 10 to 20 it's not that aggressive yet shorts aren't going to be bothered by 100 percent rally unless they're super sensitive and it would probably won't be for funds um but it's when it starts getting 30 40 that things start getting interesting so stuff can come on your radar purely because of the short float but if you want stuff that's perhaps setting up imminently then adding that additional filter and saying okay you know what i, I need to have that performance i want to see it up 50 percent in a month you know might bring things into your radar sun power that's not a bad little chart this little, little little bad little chart i think it's the you know am i balling here thinking okay what is it what it actually what do we actually have to look at subjectively it's the acceleration of the uptrend it's the stagnation and the company's struggling nothing's going on and it's that kind of acceleration that you're getting kind of 10 20 days of um you know move just keeps accelerating and, and, and a more aggressive move and then you know, that's when there's a little bit more uh, demand coming in. That's when it's a little bit more um, you know, urgent, there's a little bit more urgency to it. And in fact, this this type of thing here, um, this is on one of my watch lists actually, uh, the drive higher, the stagnation and the, and the go. Now, this kind of sits a little bit too long in this period. You know, you might doubt it, but it's this kind of thing that starts to go. You look at the short float, you go, oh, look at that as well, low sh uh, shares and issue as well. Our shares in float F short float is you know 21 percent um you know this is the kind of thing that could squeeze higher now like i can say i'm not recommending any of these as specifics but just the broad pattern so if you're going to finviz you put in your performance up 50 percent your short float greater than 20 percent um 
to, as an initial scan, then strip off that performance to catch some that might be coming up. And you're looking for that exponential kind of drive higher and things that help the trade, things that really add weight on fuel to the fire. If we go back a step here and we look, is things that are low floats, you know, things that have a, a, a low number of shares in issue. Less than 100 million is perfect. Um, uh, less than 50 million is a real kind of catalyst. But again, that adds more volatility on both sides of the coin. So if you're taking it, being prepared for kind of a, a gap lower on you. And this is the thing with your trading this. You know, if you're trading on margin, you're almost going to be on the other side of the trade when it comes back the other way. You know, so be mindful, be very um, understanding that the risk in this is, is significant. Um, but, you know, these things can run on. They can drive, they can keep going, and they can be a good part of a, a kind of broad trading strategy. Uh, and just watching out for them, watching for that kind of initial drive, unusual move, catching people out, short float, people are still on it. It's holding at highs, hasn't really had a significant, pull, significant pullback. Uh, decent short uh, shares an issue, not not too not too many. A decent short float, and you know it's something that can potentially, you know, be part of a, a trading strategy. It's not going to come all the time, guys, um, but it, it can be there. Uh, and timing it as well. Final thing, timing it. You know, trying not to chase stuff because as we saw with some recent stuff, you know, they can pull back fifty percent before they go. And the volatility is extreme, super high risk, super extreme. So trying to time it. Uh, and maybe using a tight stop intraday, then seeing if you get a cushion uh, on the close and then deciding whether you want to hold it, trimming it, what you're going to do with it, you know, at least mitigate some of the risk. I know some of you out there are just like, yeah, just go for it. I'll just put everything in and see what happens. But hey, if you understand the risk with it, that's, that's up to you and your choice. That's the short, uh, short squeezes, guys, on Finviz. Pretty simple, um, nice way to screen for potential squeezes. Take care, keep your risk manager, whatever you do. Bye-bye.